What's up guys? So I know that our videos have been a little all over the place. I just wanted to update you guys on what's going on this week with Matt and his injury. So we were in the hospital all day Tuesday and Wednesday. Today's Thursday. And Matt had his second surgery. And the surgery went well. So in his surgery, um, they took the pieces of his knee and his tibia, it was the tibial plateau that was fractured. They took those pieces, put them back together, and they screwed metal plates into either side of his, uh, his tibia. So it was a pretty intense surgery. He was in there for about two hours. Um, he was under a lot of anesthesia, obviously, so when he came back from surgery, all day Tuesday, um, his surgery ended at about 11, and all day Tuesday he was sick. He was sleeping on and off. He was completely out of it. Um, he was very, very nauseous, threw up. It just, just awful. Um, and then he was in a lot of pain. And then yesterday and today he's still in a lot, a lot of pain. Um, I, I think it's actually worse now than it has been up until this point, which makes sense because, I mean, he's <laughs> had a complete reconstruction of his left lower leg and there's new pieces of material in him, in his body. So he's in a hard cast. He's got it all wrapped up. Um, I think tomorrow we can actually take the bandage off and take a look at, at what's there <laughs> and make sure everything is good. We have to keep an eye out for infection. Of course we have to keep him moving, um, but it hurts him to move, but he needs to keep circulation in that area so that he doesn't get a blood clot, um, and he's com he's almost completely dependent. Um, moving any more than a few feet at a time just causes so much pain for him, and then when he does move he's in pain for probably 30 minutes or so, just a constant pain. Um, <laughs> I didn't mean to cry. Um, so it's it's just really hard to watch somebody go through this and you can't do anything about it. Um, being in so much pain. So it's tough. It's it's really tough. But he is so strong, you guys. He is so strong. You know, up until this point, the pain has been uh, pretty manageable for him, I guess. Um, he's able to just ignore it almost. But this is definitely the the toughest I've, I've seen for him. Um, and I just, I wish I could do something. I'm trying as much as I can to help him and that's why I've been here. Um, I haven't really been doing, I, I got a few workouts in last week um but you know it's like sometimes you need to set everything aside um and just take care of your family um so i don't know when we'll be able to get back in the trailer because of the amount of pain that he's in every time he moves um when we do i think it's it's gonna be decent because we've got um this bench right here he can actually prop his left leg up like so right here um we'll have to move this table and then the bed back there as long as we can get him in the bed uh it should be a good setup for him um and then it, what's nice is that everything in here is so close so whenever we do get him back in the trailer um we'll be together more because right now at the in the house i'm um like always all around the house doing other things and so I feel like we're apart more but at least in here we'll be able to be together um so I just wanted to update you guys on what's going on I'm going to add in a few clips from this week we started answering uh some questions for a Q&A video so I'm going to throw those in here there's only a couple because we we did answer a few and then we went to the hospital and things have been just crazy since then and yeah I just one update you guys, uh, we're still here. Um, we're still staying positive. Matt is still positive, although I know that this just frustrates him to no end, not being able to move. Uh, I think that's the toughest part for him. Like, he 
he's really good at tolerating pain, but not being able to get up and go get a glass of water. <laughs> uh, it's really been eye-opening and just makes you appreciate every little thing that much more. Like, I feel like we're pretty good at appreciating life and, and each moment as, as much as possible, but it's even more so now. So thank you guys for all of the well wishes, all of the prayers, the encouragement. It really, really means a lot to us. And I know it means a lot to Matt, although he doesn't talk about it much or show it, but um, all of the messages that we've been getting online and on these YouTube videos, I read them out to him. Um, I know that he reads them on Instagram and Facebook. Um, so keep them coming because it's, it's, I think it's really helpful for him to see. Um, but yeah, we're just going along. I'm, I'm fingers crossed that sometime later next week we'll at least be back in the trailer. I really, really hope for that. Um, because we both miss staying in here. I've been sleeping on a sofa for the last two or three weeks. Um, either on a sofa or in a hospital chair. Um, uh, because there's a bed in the room that we've been staying in, in his parents' house, but... Um, every little movement hurts him, so if I were to sleep in the bed, I'm kind of a violent sleeper, uh, so I don't want to, I, I wouldn't be moving too much, um, and then I would probably roll over and possibly kick his leg. So, yeah, that's, that's the reality of it all. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the little bit of footage that we did get from this week. Uh, thank you guys for being patient. I do want to keep putting out videos. Um, they just might be a little different as far as the content for a while. Uh, we'll just keep you guys updated. So, of course, if you do enjoy hearing updates on what's going on with Matt's injury in our life right now, um, maybe I'll throw in some workout footage. Make sure and hit that thumbs up and let us know in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll just go silent for the next few weeks. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm posting updates on my my fitness Instagram that's in the description box below. It's Blue Blurry Fitness. And then also on my Facebook page. Um, and that's my Blue Blurry Fitness and also my personal Facebook page. So you can uh, follow us on there too. So I'm trying to post updates on there for everybody. It's just been kind of an overwhelming few weeks. And like I said, we're staying positive. Um, Matt is still like joking around and like making me laugh and he's just an amazing person like he's he's such an amazing guy and hopefully that comes across in the videos because he's just, I don't know I just have so much respect for what like for him and how he's handling this so yeah anyway um I'm gonna stop crying now I'm gonna stop crying it's like a mixture of, of happy tears I'm thankful that he's okay but then also just heartbreak for for him um so we're okay we're doing good uh thank you guys again for the support and all of the well wishes like i said keep them coming i'm gonna get into the random footage from this week for you guys so it's coming right now love you guys i hope y'all are having a wonderful wonderful day um he's not here to say it but have fun out there and we'll talk to you guys later bye How you doing, Matt? I'm running from you. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's video. Oh, where's the thing? This is how we ride now. This is how I ride. <laughs> this, is, this is what we do. A couple weeks ago, we'd asked for you guys to submit some questions for us to answer as far as the RV life goes. And since we're not really traveling anywhere, we figured that what a better time to answer some questions than now. So right now we're actually heading to a movie and this is like the first time that he's been out and about since the injury, so. Since the doctor's appointment. We'll see how that goes. Big day today. We're gonna get back home and we're gonna answer some questions. Yes. yes. <laughs> see you guys after the movie. All right, first question. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> When your comfort zone has increased, where do you want to go? What kind of landmarks and places are you dying to see? Comfort zone's taking a little, uh, little bit of a change here too, as well. So that leg looks good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's just sprawled out there. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I mean, yeah, once this kind of heals up a little bit, and I'm able to actually walk around a little bit more, you know, in other words, enjoy. 
the, the places that we go to. I'm thinking here just in a few months, maybe one or two months, uh, I'd like to start hitting some of the state parks, uh, some, some of the ones that are further out. We were thinking Waco tanks for climbing, but obviously not <laughs> now, but <laughs> there's a few other trips that we're going to be talking with, with, uh, some family members of ours, uh, her brother and then my sister-in-law, you know, that, that whole thing. Get out more. I just want to hike. I, I want to see what my leg can do. Um, so it's changed since the, probably whenever you ask this question. So yeah. But what do you think? I, I really want to see the Grand Canyon. To oh, be honest, go that way. I've I've never been. I mean, it's just in general, like when our comfort zone um, expands. So I'd really like to go to the Grand Canyon. Other than that, I'm I'm like I haven't been out much, so I don't really know the possibilities. Well, that far out, I want to go to Oregon. I mean, like I, I, this California. is like just anywhere. Yeah, North California, yeah. Oregon, that area. I would love to make it up there at some point, but that's a long trip. I just I want to go hiking. Like he said, now I, I want to find like places that I didn't know existed. So that's why I don't really have a set answer. I'm thinking of uh, when we went to Colorado, Colorado Bend. Bend, Colorado Bend State Park, and we found that waterfall yeah. last year or two years ago. That was so cool. And that was like, you wouldn't know that that existed. So if you guys have been out to Colorado Bend State Park, it's, it's not even that, it's a decent hike. And then you find this amazing waterfall. Like it's just gorgeous just out of nowhere so places like that i don't know i don't really have like set destinations and that's kind of why we wanted to do this lifestyle because we don't really know where we want to go we just know we want to go so once that thing can travel a little more that thing <laughs> that's what we're going to be doing If you had to do it over, would you pick a smaller trailer or a motorhome? Mm, plus, do you want smaller trailer? <laughs> Don't look to her. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no. I would. I would say we're pretty good at a pretty good size right now. Um, I don't think we would do smaller, um, especially since most smaller trailers only have one axle, and so I like the two axle aspect. But then also, I mean, 25 feet's pretty good. Uh, we have a big bathroom, which I like big it's bathrooms. Awesome. Um, it's just more space to put, you know, dog water and stuff like that too. Yeah. It's not just about us. No, I don't think we would go smaller. Um, hmm. I wouldn't change a thing, yeah. to be honest. I think this trailer that we picked is perfect for our first... <laughs> Squirmy. Our first trailer. Um, I, I actually really enjoy the size because I feel like there's a lot of room just for what we need to do. The bathroom, everybody's surprised with how big the bathroom is. So if we were to pick a first trailer or RV over again, I wouldn't pick anything different. I think what we picked is perfect. I love our little flint, flint rock wood. Flint rock wood. Flint rock wood. Rock, rock, rock wood. <laughs> Sounds like I'm rapping. <laughs> Does not sound like you're rapping. Rock wood. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you have a disability. Like this guy. Good morning, Matthew. Morning. <laughs> it's 4 a.m. We're about to leave the house, and today is actually his surgery day. Or is it your birthday? Thanks for remembering. Yeah, so today is his surgery day slash my birthday. Um, we're hopefully gonna be putting his leg back together today. Brady, it's not your day. <laughs> no, Brady. We have to be at the hospital at six uh, and it's 4 a.m. So we're gonna have to leave pretty soon because it's in Austin. That's gonna be our day today. <laughs> That's gonna be our day. We're not taking him. Oh my gosh, Brady. Brady. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's gonna hurt you. I know he is. Are you ready? Uh, I don't know yet. You're supposed to send me instructions, I never, never did. So, oh, so I just had to show you guys really quick. Um, they don't let you take your water bottle to like the room where you can get water, so you have to get it. Oh my god, where's my fish? <laughs> Man, I didn't get you a fish. Come on. <laughs> I tried to get you a fish. 
but it's just empty. Hi, how you doing? Yeah, been a been a long day.